Hello, welcome to Ekideo. We are a train future civil and structural engineer. Today, I will be showing you the new version of the software Pogota 2025 and also some features that has been added to the this version. A lot has been added and a lot has also been what improved um, beginning from the modeling and also up to the reporting and all that, okay? That's fine. So right now, let's now dive into the software 2025 of this Prota structure, okay? That's fine. So, on this now, this is now the new interface of the software Prota 225 version, okay? That's fine. Now, I really love what they add to this um, version, although I was expecting more to on the area of the steel um, modeling, okay? That's fine. But for this alone, it's enough at least for a good start. Now, they have added also um, new code as standards. As you can see, if I go to, um, let me say I want to open a new project now and all that, then you could see that they have added a new code and standards and also some kind of errors that used to um, pop out when you're using the other versions are no longer on this um, newer version, okay, that's fine. So right now, let's now look at it. Let's say I want to create um, a new project now. Let me just see, create a new project now, right? Now you can see that if I want, let me just say, okay, I just put a, a new project code here. That's the project name. Let, let me just say um, garage, right? Uh, yeah, anything, garage building, let me just say building, that's fine. So with this now, so with this now, now let's now look at the codes, the new codes that have been added, okay? For, for example, you can see that we now have Brazilian code, then we also have Ghanaian um, code of standards, you can see that, Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian BS code of standards based on Ghanaian country code. Then if you also scroll down to, we also have South African code, in BS code, and in Euro code, and all that. Then um, I think that's the two codes which I know that that is that they added here. Or that yeah, they also they have also added Mesodinia. Yeah, this was not added before. So Ghana has also um, have their own code now. So if you are a Ghanaian, you can begin to use Ghanaian BS code standards. Okay, that's fine. Then if you're in South Africa, you can be using South Africa BS code. So you can see every version, they are improving in every version by adding new code, that's fine. So, so this is what they have added on the area of the codes. I know that, which is nice. So I'll just quickly cancel this now and then begin again. So the next thing now, which they have added, let's now move on to the steel modeling area or interface. Now, on this modeling tab, now I can see right now on the tab, if I now go to concrete, still looks the same. Nothing new here have been added in concrete because concrete is, is, was already okay it, or is okay. Let's now move on to the steel interface. Now, coming to the steel member modeling here, you can see this new one that is called what space straws. Now, most people don't know the use of these space straws. Well, space straws be before this time, if you have a very large span, or if you, if a client um, meets you and then that he wants a very like a very large span of let me say worship center or conference um, building, and it has a very wide span, let me say of like um, thirty six or sixty meters or 100 meters thereabout in the stand. Now, at that kind of um, span, you cannot use H-beam without having intermediate columns and all that. Now, that becomes a barrier because the client says he doesn't want intermediate columns inside the conference center or the worship center. And you cannot use H-beam to achieve that. But with what they normally use to achieve that is space frame and all that, or space trust. It is either called it space trust or by the actual name is space frame. Okay, that's what they call it, space frame or space trust. Now you can you can use space trust to achieve that, and space trust can go to any span at all. Now most of the churches that you see, the world biggest churches or worship center, basically in Nigeria, that that where all the world biggest churches are being located in Nigeria. For example, churches like Dunamis, 
they use space thrust or space frame for that for the roof that that way you can see that at that large span there are no intermediate columns again the same church again which is the biggest church in the world currently salvation ministry they use space thrust or, or space frame for that okay because the client the church does not want any intermediate column that can cause obstruction and also to to also bring the beauty and wonder of the world for that so they have to use what space trust. so space trust or space frame are being used if you don't want any obstruction in your building if you have a very large span and also it is used for for roofing when you have a very large span is the best ever because hb has its own limit it can go okay that's fine so adding this space to us here is a very nice one i'll be showing you how to use that on our previous videos okay that's fine so right now the next thing again they added to is if, if you can look at this beam now it has an opening which is called what translated beams now before this time you can you cannot achieve this by using 24 version and below but with this new version you can then model a castellated beam and how do you do that just on your on your beam property dialog box which you have here you can see that they don't have a new tab called what castellated beam for example if i don't want this beam now to be what castellated what i just write is to come here and then say none and then say what um update now this is how previous beam let me just show you right now it will update how previous beam let me just update it update. now this is how previous beam normally appear before this time so before this time you cannot model a castellated beam on uh, on this software portal structure but on this new version right now you can then model a castellated beam by just simply come here properties and although there are some settings which you have to follow but let, let me just show you for that but I'll, I'll, I'll go i'll go in more full detail so you can do circular or you can do hexagonal the more that's popular is what hexagonal that's popular because of what based on the fabrication okay that's fine so i can come here right now and put in your parameters based on spacing or based on counts and all that then once you're done with that just come here and click the word update it will just show you just give you some some seconds it will display um these parameters on the bin okay that's fine there are some purpose or when they use cassetted beams okay which i will tell you later when we enter the full training for steel okay that's fine so you can see that this is also part of 2024 um 25 version and all that now also if you now go to the steel interface and all that you can now see that we have partial um update for for steel and we have the full proto steel okay and that also also see that the that logos has changed now i can be able to load my steel right now into to open my proto steel now on the proto steel they have added new connections which i love a lot new connections have been added base plate design has also been improved greatly and also design report for concrete and steel has also been improved greatly and also the design detailing um sorry the um the reinforced concrete detailing for beams for columns and everything has also increased greatly now i'm trying to open the portal steel right now for 25 which is very very nice i must say the very nice okay that's fine so once it's open now there you will see this uh model now will be transferred into the portal t25 that's fine L let me just give some time for it to um open up so i will tell you that is very now we will be using um one particular structure to model and also perform a full structural design both for concrete and for steel using this new version of what portal 25 okay that's fine so that we can be able to see how everything appears and we will also generate the report also for us to see how the report appear because it is improved i'll show you how it appears and also during the design of the path foundation and other type of foundation you, you also see that things have also been improved okay that's fine okay so these softwares owner they are really trying by trying to improve the softwares by adding different features to the model making um modeling and design very very easy and simple i must tell you this software Project is one of the easiest software when it comes to the design of reinforced concrete and steel building yeah that's fine so right let me just allow it to um finish up now 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 
it is done importing the this steel model into portal steel so i'll just come in right now and then um cancel or yeah just close like this and then let me see right now wait for it to open up just now okay so if i try to minimize this now because i, I think it's open yeah correct so you cannot see that this is now the interface of Prota steel 225 okay that's fine you can see that right now so a lot a, 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 so many connections have been added and all that and then i'll be sure and also the base plate also the design of base plate is also improved greatly and nice and even simplified okay so most of the connection designs have been simplified okay that's fine so i'll be using a full um steel project to show you um, uh, the new features and also, and also how simple and easier it is to now design for steel connections, okay, right here on Portal Steel. And also, the steel detailing and drawings and details has have also been what in uh, also, uh, have also been improved too, okay. That's fine. Also, in reinforced concrete detail, which is the Portal Detail, okay, has also increased too, okay, has also improved too, okay. That's fine. So that's fine. So with this now, this is to show you that um some features okay although there are other features which i'll show you by the time we'll begin the full project modeling on this new version of the software of 25 that's fine so right now i think this is where i can say um i'll believe in you guys now if you're not subscribed to our channel Ekidel, please consider subscribing don't forget next month april is our three years anniversary and beginning from first of april to 22nd of April, we will be offering 25 and um, 50 percent discount on all our products beginning from Ekidel mentorship. So, people that have been saying that Ekidel mentorship is expensive and all that, now instead of paying $350, it, it, it will be going for $175. And the same thing applies to other currencies too. So everything will be slashed by 50%, okay? And it's going to run for only two weeks. So after two weeks, it will be back to its normal price. People that have, been, that, 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 that have, that have gained a lot from, from there by paying previous years can testify of that. So right now, I'll be showing you more um, details for that. So if you want to um, get that on our 50% discount based on our anniversary. Our advice you check on our bio on our store. You can see a KDS store bio, and then you can then um utilize that. But that 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 will begin from April 1st and not from today because we we are still on days um, away from April 1st. Okay, that's fine. So thanks so much and God bless you. We we'll love you and then see you again when we begin the the full project design for this 225 version okay that's fine see you then and bye for now bye then